Get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, you're supposed to bring it back. That's only half of it. All right, how's it going? We are doing a little video update here. We are at Judge Harry Fisher Park here in Fort Scott, Kansas. It's not, a, it's actually not much of a park. It's more just like an open field, as you can see. It looks like just a, someone's large yard. So this is what's called Harry Fisher Park. And way off in the distance there, you can see the Buck Run Community Center. And that's where I'm about to go in there and get a nice little workout in. It's a, um, it's like a YMCA type of a facility. They call it Buck Run Community Center and they have a little weight room in there and they have some exercise equipment. They have some treadmills. They have bench press, decline press, lat pull downs, tricep extensions. They have like a pec deck and leg press. So it's a, it's a pretty decent gym. So I'm about ready to go in there and get a little workout in. But uh, I like to let Brenda run around here for a little bit, burn off some more energy. She just had a bath, actually. I just bathed her, so she's nice and clean. This is what Brenda looks like when she's nice and clean. Look at that color coming out. Look at that color palette. Those tiger stripes. So that's this is Miss Brenda the Brenda when she just had a fresh bath. So she's not clean. for. She doesn't stay clean very often, unfortunately. So I'm trying to get a nice little close-up of her so you can kind of look at and see. And This is what Brenda looks like when she's clean. So having said that, Again, we're just um, letting her run around. Um, the freeway here, this is interstate, actually it's State Highway 69. This is State Highway 69 that you see. And this highway, if you stay on this highway going north, it'll take you right into Kansas City. And then that's like 88 miles north from here. And then if you go the opposite direction south, that'll take you down basically to the Oklahoma border. It'll take you through Pittsburgh, Kansas, and then down into Oklahoma, down around my Miami, Oklahoma, or Miami, Oklahoma. It's actually not pronounced Miami, it's Miami. There's a little town in northern Oklahoma called Miami. So that's just a little idea of the, the location here. But this community center actually is not, not bad to get back to the community center. Back in Southern California, I belong to Crunch Fitness and LA Fitness. But unfortunately, back here, you can't find a Crunch or an LA Fitness, obviously. There's nothing like that here in Fort Scott. And they don't even have a Planet Fitness or anything like that. No 24-hour fitness or anytime fitness or anything like that. So after a quick little Google search, I found the Buck Run Community Center. And it's not a bad little gym. You know, it gets the job done. You can pay daily or you can pay monthly or you can pay by the year. And I've just been paying daily, which is $3 a day because I don't know how long Brenda and I are gonna be here in Fort Scott. So I just, I elect to just pay the daily rate. So I try to go in like three or four times a week to get a nice workout in. So that's about it. And I also have to say last week, I was actually inside the community center there working out. And I kid you not, I saw the strongest female that I've ever seen in person in my life. There was a girl in there, lady, female, I don't want to be disrespectful. She was uh, probably in her mid twenties, maybe late twenties, somewhere around there. You know, and she was a good sized woman. You know, she wasn't diminutive at all. She wasn't a petite little thing. She was a, she was a good sized hefty woman. And she was in there repping 225 on the bench press. And I kid you not, she did like three reps on the bench press without any help. She had a spotter standing behind her just in case, but she did three clean, reps with 225 on the bench press no help no assistance and i was watching that and i'm thinking damn that's pretty damn impressive you know that's actually more than i can probably lift right now because i haven't done much bench pressing in a while i do dumbbells pr pr predominantly but i you know i used to be able to lift heavy heavy on the bench press but it's been a while so i was just kind of thinking to myself like man this this female over here is likely stronger than i am at least on the bench so I was amazed, you know, I was amazed. I mean, she was in there, she's a power lifter. I overheard some snippets of her conversation talking about how she's a power lifter and she trains for power lifting. And she's definitely got some power, let me tell you. And she was probably, probably about 5'8", probably about 225, maybe 230 pounds, somewhere around there. I mean, you know, she was a good sized female. You know, I guess 
Back in these parts, back in the Midwest, you would call someone like that corn fed. She was a very corn fed individual and she was packing some major strength. So I just figured I would, you know, mention that. And who knows, she may be in there today and maybe I can actually go up to her and ask her for some pointers. Maybe she can help me work on my own strength. So that's about it. You know, this is uh, just a quick little video check in from the Buck Run Community Center right along State Highway 69 here in southeastern Kansas, Fort Scott, Kansas. It's a Friday afternoon. It's a beautiful day today. It's about 72 degrees, actually. I believe it. I believe the high today was like 72 or 73. And this is, it's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon and it still feels like it's about 72, 73. There's a light breeze blowing and it's just a gorgeous day. I mean, there's a few little wispy clouds in the sky, but you know, other than that, it's nice and warm and it feels great to have the sun shining down and Brenda's enjoying herself. We went for a nice long hike again this morning. So she's she's enjoying the day, I'm enjoying the day, and that's about it. So, but seriously, if I go in there and I see that female power lifter in there, I'm, I'm gonna have to go up to her and ask her for some pointers because I, I can't let her be stronger than I am. I mean, that that's sort of emasculating. I, I just can't let that happen. That's just, that's just unacceptable. Ah, uh, quick update, no luck. The big power lifting female wasn't in there today, so it was actually pretty empty. There was only one other guy in there, so I wasn't able to ask her for any pointers. Next time, though. What are you doing? Is that good? You and your sticks. At least sticks are cheap. <laughs> 